Hello again, as today we talk about Mark chapter 3. Hopefully you've read the chapter and uh, you have your thoughts. I just want to share a couple with you today, again, about the, the big picture of, of Mark 3. And the thing that uh, catches my attention here is that we see this conflict at the end of the chapter between the teachers of the law, um, the Pharisees who come up from Jer Jerusalem, who accuse Jesus of casting out demons by the power of Satan. Uh, this is a very uh, front-on attack as to the identity of Jesus. Who is he? Where does his power come from? And Jesus teaches then and saying, no, a divided house isn't going to be able to uh, sustain itself. It's going to collapse. Even the house of demons will collapse if it's um, got conflict, if they can't get along with each other. And, and so in that context, we see Jesus, first of all, in chapter 3, appointing the 12. They're going to be his closest to him. They're going to be his supporters. They're going to learn from him, follow around. And, uh, and they're dedicating their lives to Jesus and uh, to, to his service, to his mission. And then after being uh, confronted by the Pharisees, we see that Jesus' own family comes and tries to take him away from his mission. Uh, that his brothers, his mother come to him and they, they try to take him away and say, you need to refresh, you need to relax, you need to, to leave the crowds. We don't know what you're doing anyway. And, and they're really living out what the Pharisees have just described with the demons, that, that they're undermining Jesus' ministry. And so Jesus looks around at the crowd and says, these are my brothers and my mother and my sisters. And so that includes us, that we are his family. But the other question for us is how do we contribute to unity in the kingdom of God, making sure that we're not part of any division? 